Welcome back, Kevin who's 57 here. I am back on Destiny 2 with part 2 of my full game playthrough. So if you enjoyed my first impressions of the game, or if you didn't see it, you can go back and watch it. I'm going to be doing each segment of the campaign about an hour long a piece, give or take, just depending on the missions. And this will be episode 2 starting off on Earth. So initially, I am going to start off solo, and then uh, we will go from there. Potentially later on, I may uh, actually start co-op, but for right now, I'm just going to be going through the storyline and don't want to distract you too much with uh, idle team speak. Now, you would notice uh, where we left off, I was a little bit confused with no real waypoint, but uh, I found that you could track the quest as I just did, and I think it will be a lot easier to find where I need to go. Don't get cocky now that you've got your powers back. The EDZ is rough, especially around the old town. Just remember, refugees from the city have it a lot rougher. You want to help them? Find Devram K. I should mention one other thing before we get started. I am a fan of wandering around and just kind of trying to find collectibles, make sure I don't miss any type of nodes or things of that nature. And, uh, well, I looked through the achievements. I did not see any achievement for collectibles or ghosts. So I believe I'll be okay to just run through things. I don't like the scout rifle quite as much. Whoa, that sun grenade really hurt me. Shit. Uh, okay. Yeah, those guys are a lot higher like a tremendous amount higher okay we're uh, we're not gonna mess with them right off the bat recommended power of 60 I don't have 60 power so we're just gonna sneak by over here Really? Alright. I thought I could jump up there. So far, I've been uh, pretty impressed by the storyline, and. Hello there. We'll see what happens. Got ourselves a sniper. A guest? But here I have no tea to serve. These are dire times indeed. Devram K, the eighth at your service. City militia, back when there was a city. Now I serve at the pleasure of my dear friend Soraya Hawthorne. First on the docket, contact other refugees and tell them of the farm. That means building a comm network from the ground up. And even though I happen to be a damn good shot, the Fallen are giving me a double of a time. I dare say you can handle a few rounds with the enemy. I've seen what Guardians can do. Right. I think it's time to let the guns do the talking now. Don't you? Okay, so I can keep talking to him. Uh, destination map. 
that's ready if you are. So I have to press and hold it. Still not used to the multifunctionality of buttons. You can see on the map, there's Devrim K. There's uh, a new frontier. So I can track that. I'll just keep the map open. And I did get a new ghost shell. Uh, let's see. This one doesn't do anything, but it looks cool. This one detects caches within a 30 meter range while in the EDZ. So I guess now ghosts actually have a, a use, per se, which is kind of cool. I cannot uh, not going to lie. Distracted. I do hope. Uh, the bad thing is, well, I'm going to have to swap my gear over. i got to get this refugee chest piece, uh, even though I don't really want to use it because it doesn't look good, but my power level is way too low. Uh, there's no option, which is another thing that I've noticed. Maybe I haven't gotten to it yet, or maybe it's just the way that the game is. There's no option to change the difficulty on anything. Get started. There's a banner on the main floor. Give it a look, will you? So this is going to be uh, unique. This is a house of judgment sigil. We used to work with a fallen who flew this banner. Curious. Well, the fallen seem to have put this up as a bit of a threat. I imagine you'll find lots of objects like this out there. Bit of a story to them. You both need some supplies to get going out here. See if you find a cache in one of the buildings nearby. Okay. So this is where it's going to be important to have a cache or to have this ghost that detects caches. I guess the first one they're basically just going to give us. Very well done. To survive, we'll have to look for every opportunity. Keep your eyes peeled for more supplies in the wilds. Speaking of the wilds, there's a symbol on the wall of the church. Take a look. Symbol on the wall of the church, okay. Oh, over there. Just had to wait for it to pop up. This isn't a sniper rifle, so it's not going to be that high in damage. And like I said, I'm kind of in a, <laughs> not over my head, but I'm in an area that uh, surprisingly, I have a much lower power than what's recommended. Maybe they want you to do it with a group. In any case, we'll get through it. Where the hell is the symbol, though? Okay. Uh, that's weird. Maybe it's in here? There. Debrim, where did this symbol come from? I believe hmm. your city hunters must have put them here and there about the region as they scouted around. I think they meant it to mark something special. Or dangerous. Or both. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's just a little quest for me to come down here. All right, so the area might be higher level the than me. The history of this region is fascinating. I believe tunnels and caves like the one you're in now stretch all across the EDZ. Who knows what's lurking down there? Be careful. Well, for those of you that seen part one. You know I was complaining a little bit that the enemies were so difficult, or, well, lack there of it. Basically one punch and they died. So, this weapon is inaccurate. Alright, yeah, that's what it is. I was in the EDZ area, and the EDZ area is 
not uh, meant to be something that you just wander around in. This is the mission area, and the mission area is a lot easier. Still looking for any kind of loot cache or engram that I can find. Surprisingly, I really don't like this uh, scout rifle. It's not as good as I had thought it would be. That explosive barrel's good, though. hard to aim this sword strike super. I'm gonna have to back off of them. and eliminate some of those guys. I got my grenade back. Okay. All right. This is doable. You can hit him with that sun grenade, which does a crap ton of damage to him. I just snagged a key code from that captain. I think I can open his supply cache. All right. I gotta watch what I'm doing a little bit, but other than that, not too bad. Good work down there, you two. Keep an eye out for other hidey holes and treasures like this one. But that's for another day. In the meantime, what say we get down to business? Come on back up to the church tower. I'm putting a kettle on now. All right, let's see, what did I get? I got a new piece of gear that's customizable. Uh, so I got a hand cannon, 32 versus 10. Yeah, we'll take that. Got a new power weapon, void damage. Uh, I'll take that over to shotgun. Oh God, that helmet is ugly. All right, yeah, definitely starting to find some, some better gear. And apparently I can get a second upgrade. Hmm. I want to get into these. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Uh, basically, you're forced to level up and put points into things at, like in a specific order. All right, I don't see what piece of gear was supposed to be customizable with the shader. Maybe... All right, I'm sure I'll find something to do with that later. Not gonna worry about it too much. See if it gives me a quest. I do wish it would automatically track the quest when you only have one. That would be nice as opposed to have to opening your map um, and then having to manually select it every time. I 
just gotta remember how I got up there. They definitely didn't make it easy, that's for sure. Welcome back. This time I did make tea for you, but I seem to have drunk it all. Perhaps if you were a mite quicker. <laughs> right, the beacon. While you were tussling with the Fallen, we've encountered a bit of a setback. Hawthorne has placed the last relay on the mountain above the salt mines, but even from that height, the signal still doesn't have the range we expected. It's a bit curious. Regardless, this signal booster should solve our problem if we can get it to you. Huh? Dead zone indeed. Alright, so I see what they want you to do. They want you to continue to basically buy these different weapons um, for your glimmer. Of course, it might not be a bad idea. In all honesty, I'm not a fan of that um, that scout rifle, and this one has precision on it. Recoil pattern is more vertical, so I like that. It's also an attack damage of 36. Um, what does it have? Model six loop, red dot, medium zoom. Okay, all right. I'm actually going to take that because it's an auto rifle, so I will buy it. Granted, it's 650 Glimmer, but that's okay as far as I'm concerned. You can hear that too, right? See, this is the Pharaoh auto rifle that I have at level 1, and this is the Pharaoh auto rifle level 3. So, we'll go ahead and put that on. Uh, I'm not going to waste a bunch of Glimmer like just constantly buying new weapons but i feel like that one weapon was very weak compared to what uh it should have been at here we are uh that's the poor receptions one calling them home the dead zone uh, hmm. fitting all right so there's a bunch of different stuff that i can do apparently marked around the map uh i see little emblems for interesting icons and stuff all over the map can i put a waypoint down no we can't put a custom waypoint down let's bring them home public event incoming hmm i wonder how i get to that uh i'll worry about that later not going to do a public event right away let's uh, start with the things closest to me and move out Normally, I would just run to where that public event is, but we don't have, like, any kind of fast vehicle, and I'm squishy. Oh, this weapon. Oh, ho, ho, I'm so glad I bought this weapon. This weapon does make a nice difference, but I'm not going to stay and fight them. Um, let's see. Can I get there a different way? Okay. Apparently, I do have to fight them. Well, that's convenient. Hopefully they won't All right, What's next? find me. Helping these or not. Broadcasting a signal well, that's a bit dumb. The city saying, You'll be safe here. That's actually sure really, really dumb that they did that. The area to boost the signal. That should do the trick. All right, whatever. I mean, my first uh, upsetting issue with the game was putting the mission start thing in a constant spawn of enemies. Other than that, That's not bad. 
Looks like the signal's already amped. That was fast. Hang on a minute. I just spotted quite a few fallen headed your way. Keep your guard up. I need to know what they want me to do, though. That's the thing. Give me a waypoint. Oh, zealous vandals. Okay. Looks like these guys are meeting my same issue. Well, I still haven't killed a vandal. Alright. I guess we just kind of wander around and wait. Loot? Hmm. I'll take some loot. Alright. Well... That gave me a vandal, so maybe it's not too difficult. Dusklight shard. Alright, that must be the earthen currency now. We shall continue this adventure and learn at the same time what the hell is going on. under the church must have drawn the rest of the fallen out it won't stop coming we need to make sure that signal is strong you better hurry up and place that second node all right i do despise when my waypoint disappears at least these open world enemies give you xp so that's nice. I'm only guessing that this is the direction I'm supposed to go. I don't know for certainty. This place used to be so peaceful. This is the first time I've even seen any fallen since the cabal hit us. Reminds me of the city. You all tried to make it so we never even laid eyes on a dreg. To keep us safe, right? There's another word for a place you're not allowed to leave. You know with walls you can't see over, and guards everywhere. Soraya, despite your exploits there, I hardly think the city was a prison. I'm just saying, no walls at the farm. Come and go whenever you want. So let's make sure everyone can Ooh, get... Oh, there's a cache. At least the... Oh. I don't know what it is. It's not a cache. I used to think the Fallen worship machines, but this doesn't look huh. very worshipful, does it? Maybe they've got bigger worries these days. Okay, never mind. That was just a, a random object to scan. Finding caches relatively easily. cash over here too half my time is going to be spent hunting down caches apparently
well, I'm sure all of these materials will be valuable because if it's anything like the first game, we're going to need a lot of material. So I'm going to have to like find spots that I can farm for whatever the different currencies are. I just really wish I had a damn objective marker. Um, cannot access other activities at this time. Wow, I am nowhere near apparently where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Well, this is interesting. So the missions are more open worldy than missiony, if that makes sense. I'm used to just straight missions like go to this planet, do this, go to that planet, do that. Totally ran past that. Strange feedback. The fallen are nothing if not persistent. I'd wager they have some kind of jamming devices nearby. This is going to be a lot to get used to. Okay, <laughs> well, that's a uh, explodey. I wonder why that didn't show up as a chest on my radar. Huh, okay. Doesn't look like Glimmer's gonna be that much of a deal though. Cause I just tore through that chest and got like a thousand glimmer out of it. And there's a public event here now? Alright. Excellent work. It's nice to have a guardian helping us normal for a change. But there's one more thing. Did I send those coordinates correctly? I've got them. Through the tunnel, across the river. That's the place. I left something behind there. Alright, I want to see what this, uh, this banner is that just popped up here. Rally to the flag. Public event. Event will start in four minutes. Okay. Alright, so we are going to complete a public event, or at least attempt to. In the meantime, I guess I might as well kill some people. Go ahead and make sure I have full ammo. Got ammo, super... I think I've collected all the crystals and stuff in this location. Let's see, is that event marked on the map now? Uh, let's see, three minutes, four minutes. Okay, so they're just random spawns then, basically.
Alright. Well, this is convenient. All I have to do is hang out around this flag. We'll do the event. I don't know what's going to happen because, I mean, I'm a level 3. And that's a public event, so obviously it's probably going to be difficult. In the meantime, I suppose I'll look for treasure. Which this is entirely what I'm not supposed to be doing. Damn, these guys respawn quick. I wonder. I wonder if I can get far enough away that they'll actually, uh, respawn like good old loot cave style oh no 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 <laughs> apparently i can't go too far out that way or i'm gonna die well, that's convenient Sad thing is, with these weapons, it actually seems better to hip fire than to ADS. Well, still getting the feel for things. I'm sure there's going to be some pretty badass exotic weapons and stuff that I'll get a little bit later. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go try and find whatever material is available to me right now. Which right now seems to be a lot of dusk light, but uh, that dusk light didn't actually give me dusk light, it gave me glimmer. So apparently the resources aren't guaranteed maybe? These enemy, though, they respawn quick. Very quick. All right, I'm going to hide in the bus. It seems like a generally not half bad spot. A roving band of pikes is headed your way. All right. Well, I'm probably going to die. A catch has been reported en route to an ether drop. Whoa, hello, that hurt. Look at those faults, acting like they own this place. Take down that servitor and they starve. Okay, alright. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Huh? Uh... Okay. That's a new trick. Power weapon time. Wow. My power weapon doesn't do crap to that thing. doesn't matter the range that I'm at either. It doesn't do anything to it. I don't think I can actually kill this guy by myself. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that I...
Yeah. I'm definitely not strong enough to take on this. Not by myself, at least. I'm gonna do my best, though. Uh, I'm not gonna disappear. I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can get any kind of reward. The shit does keep teleporting me, which is aggravating as all hell. And they have all the different types of enemies. I remember those good old exploding shanks. At least I'm gonna get a fair deal of XP. Cause this is a lot of enemies, higher level enemies than uh, what I was fighting just normally. I did the whole rally to the flag thing. Uh, I wish some teammates would show up. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Prime servitor. Uh, there's a level three, dude hiding in the bushes. That's convenient. Oh, and there just happens to be a ship that comes in as well. That's also convenient. Event complete. You've what? Them a lot of ether and thinned their ranks. How'd I complete the event? Okay. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but I got loot. I really need to get a rocket launcher though. So it looks like it's not a bad idea to participate in those world events. But I definitely should wait till I'm a little bit higher level before um, attempting to do too much with them. Because I pretty much got my ass kicked. We're almost to your coordinates, Hawthorne. Good. I left supplies there that I had to abandon in a hurry a while back. Supplies for the farm? For the city. But when you all got attacked, I dropped everything and flew across the ocean to try and help. The city sure doesn't need it anymore. We could use that stuff at the farm. Well, we're still learning, still exploring. I'm sure once I get a better weapon, maybe find a squad to play with. Those little world events won't be that difficult. Bad news, Hawthorne. The Fallen beat us here. All right, forget the supplies. Clear out those Fallen, and we'll figure out our next move. And I just got an upgrade point. Plus my first uh, uncommon Engram. All right. The area is clear. Not for long. The Fallen don't like it when they're denied a good scavenge. They're bound to come at you in force. Do me another favor, you two. Drop
drop another one of those node things to boost my signal, then get out of there. Okay. I would love a sniper rifle. I also need to get the range a bit bigger on that uh, grenade. Like the marking range for it is a little small. See if they drop where the explosive barrel is. Eh. No. Well, so far, I'm earning glimmer a lot faster than I expected to be earning glimmer I honestly thought that it was going to be a bit of a challenge to get the glimmer but I'm killing enemies and apparently they have glimmer on them Now all I have to do is sort out how to get the gear that I want. I will say I don't like how they made the uh, vandals run because damn, they haul ass. something right don't let up all right I didn't intend to I do like how it's really easy to tell the uh, shield type that enemies are actually using really are something else. I guess I kind of forgot that. And now we know that there are resources to be found in the EDZ. Once we retake the city, that'll be a big help. Sure. Alright, I just got some nice what gear. What means to say is, thank you. Head back here when you can, you two. There's still quite a bit to do. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of caves and stuff. But let's see what I got right off the bat. Uh, requires level 5. Okay, so I got a hand cannon I can't use. Let's see what happens when I dismantle a rifle. Uh, okay, nothing happens when I dismantle a rifle. Um, 5,950 glimmer. Oh, actually, no, you do get a little bit for dismantling. So that might be their version of selling. Thirty-seven defense, fifty-six defense. Oh yeah, I don't mind if I do on that fifty-six defense. Just dismantle those pieces for twenty-five glimmer. Alright, I wish it was a compare feature. 
doesn't show a compare feature, just their generic level. Thirty-eight. Okay. All right. Starting to get some better gear here. I won't be totally. Well, I won't be totally weak. I still need better weapons, though. All right. So I'm way the, down there. Uh, for reception, I guess I'll track that. Might as well do it before I head back. There's no point in, like, just waiting around. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to take a while to complete each one of these little maps. I figured that it was going to be mission-based, like the very first game, where I would basically have to fly to the planet, do a mission, come back. And in a way, I liked it because it was very easy to do. It was basically go here, go there. But uh, then all of the quests were also nothing more than glorified fetch quests. So it's different, but, well, that's just dumb. I hit the rock right there. Okay, well, that's stupid. Apparently, I can't make that jump. But... Overall, I like the open world feel of it. I just can't take shortcuts. I'm going to participate in that public event as well. Honestly, I didn't complete it. Barely got that servitor down by a third of its health bar, yet still got like 200 XP and a bunch of glimmer for it. Getting some weird feedback on the comms. Dev, did you put your teacup on the broadcast switch again? Looks like these fallen shanks are rerouting the signal. Try dismantling one and taking a close look at the insides. feedback uh, well give me a waypoint and I will do it game oh I must just have to kill enemies till I find the right one this core it's acting as a kind of broadband amplifier their signal is blocking transmissions all across the dial. After all the work you did setting up Soraya's broadcast, that just won't do. There's a signal antenna nearby. I can use the core to try to find the source of whatever the Fallen are doing. Why do you think they're trying to jam us, Death? They missed their opportunity to take over this area after our friend touched the shard. And now they're too scared to fight us head on. Typical fallen. I keep thinking these things are dogs when they're running around the so I ignore them really that hit no one Let's see, where's the public event, though? Ah, uh, just up there. Oh, 
I'll go do that public event in just a second. Oh, there's a level six over there too. All right, we might complete it. Has been reported en route to an ether drop. That level six is over there by himself. I'll go and help him out in a minute. the source it's underground deep underground that figures fall in love dark places especially with the red legion all over the dead zone all right let me see what i can do to help out this guy in the public event Look at this uh, Acting like they own this place. the fallen isn't really that big of an enemy think I should be playing this aggressively. Oh, don't teleport me, and you're gonna teleport me. That's cool. Well, the level six has gotten, well, he's done a lot more than I have. He's also a Titan too, so that would explain why he's having a better luck. I see he's got a shield and, and everything already. But I have this nice over shield and healing thing that as long as I stay within the circle, except it ran out. I'm just a little squishy guy that's gonna try and help out. Oh, I forgot, I got power weapon ammo. Whoa, that hurt. It's coming. No. I thought I could do it without dying. Well, I guess I shouldn't have expected much better. For some reason, we're not doing that much damage to it, though. And I also seem to be getting local XP share. Like, when the other enemies are killed, even if it's not by me, I seem to be getting some constant XP share, which is cool. I might also die right here. Yeah, I just gained a uh, level up, and I technically didn't even kill something at the moment that I gained the level up. He got the servitor, and the servitor took down the other fallen. Damn, look at that. The People's Hero complete a heroic event. So you get an achievement the very first time that you actually complete one of those. That's convenient. And I got a helmet with a hell of a lot more stuff and another emblem for doing that. Okay. So I got Glimmer and I got a better helmet. A way better helmet, actually. I think I got a pair of boots. 51 to 38. Yeah, I got a pair of boots off of that. 
I got boots, a helmet, and a crap ton of glimmer. 44 attack. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. I'm going to try selling stuff later on. Selling weapons. But for right now, I'm content to just keep going with, uh, well, dismantling them. I need to find where this thing this is underground. There's a cache in here, too. Oh. Oh. A kinetic weapon. Please tell me you are a primary. 36 attack. Well-rounded, reliable, and sturdy. What does this one do? Lightweight sight, short zoom, increased range, increased handling speed, hmm. and optimized for fast reloading. So two perks, 54 attack rating. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, look at that. Not even an hour in. Well... A little close to an hour in on Earth, and I already have a higher power rating than what is recommended for the mission. So, this is definitely doable. Fallen banners. We're definitely on the right track. Oh, and it's got a faster fire rate. Yeah, I like this gun. Little weaker, I think, per shot damage-wise, potentially, but not bad. Okay, that could be a bit of a problem. They keep meleeing me. Yep, that's definitely a problem. <sighs> Crap. All right. Well, I just got a little overwhelmed there. Had too much fun testing out my new toy. And it honestly doesn't do enough damage. Like, at a distance, it doesn't do enough damage. Up close, it's perfectly fine. They're really built up down here. We need to remember this place after we retake the city, so we can clear it out for good. Or we could let the Fallen have their creepy caves, and not sacrifice more people. It's gonna take a good amount of time to complete this game, I feel. Especially with the way I kinda get a bit distracted and go looking for loot. I can finally get a read on the source. It's close. Good old trip mines. I 
I can't believe the first achievement was literally just complete a public event. This is it. Hold them off and I'll use that shank core to shut down the signal remotely. Okay, those melee dudes are just glitching out up there. That works for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have fun. Uh, I'm just a lot weaker than what I initially anticipated being. Shit. Oh, man. Well, at least it's not a no respawn zone. It just doesn't look good, but you guys have to be careful when you're playing with this. It's, uh, not as easy as I was like used to. It's also weird uh, that ability that I just used binds to pressing and holding down B. So that's definitely something I'm not used to having to do. I'm used to like LB being grenades, RB being melee, and then your super. I'm not used to a third power. I'm surprised though, heavy weapons don't seem to do as much damage as I thought they would. Just before you took out that captain, I fried all their broadcast capabilities. No more jamming. That means people will be coming to the farm from all over the planet. Once we get that last relay set up, we can reach oh, out to the rest of the Look system. at that. Loot. Then we can start rallying guardians to strike back against the Red Legion. There will be plenty of time for both. For now, head back here when you can, you two. All right, let's see. What else is on the map that can be done? Uh, there is a potential event. I'll track that event for now. It's not really super important, but it, if it happens to be up when I get out of this cave, we'll do it. If not, no big deal. So it looks like it's entirely possible to reach like, I don't know, I'd say level 5 to 6 within a couple hours of starting the game. Probably less if you don't explore as much as I did. Now that I looked at the achievements and see there's only 13 achievements for the game right now. And they're all uh, relatively specific. So I don't have to worry about collectibles. It's disappointing because I always did like finding the collectibles, but at the same time, it makes it so I can focus on just the mission. I will be killing every single enemy I find for the XP, though. I'm going to have to find a good XP grind spot. Because so far, it's not bad. But these are only the first few levels. So yeah, those public events, definitely a good way to get some 
decent gear to start off with. And I'm sure probably like a whole group of level twos or threes would be able to take one of those down. I mean, I got some rewards, couple hundred glimmer, just for taking it like two thirds of the way down by myself. I can't wait till I get a vehicle though. That's what I really want. Because it feels like this area is just too big for on foot. Also looking for any kind of shortcut slash uh, loot caches that there might be scattered around. Because you know a lot of players are going to just miss the whole cache thing. Basically, a lot of people speed through areas. And when they speed through an area, they usually miss stuff. Looks like the Fallen are bringing in a glimmer drill. Keep a sharp lookout. Um... Well, I got over here and got a chest. Uh, okay. <laughs> Random chest spawn. Uh, a glimmer mining. Thank you very much. Shut them down. I get for reviving somebody uh well I die okay I guess we won't know what I get for reviving somebody they're heading to another site there's too many skiffs I can't okay there they are I was gonna say I can't really see them it's not like the first destiny first destiny it was extremely easy to find where you needed to be because you could just watch one skiff move and you'd be good all right it doesn't look like you gain anything specific by uh reviving just basically like a, a courteous thing that's all it is you don't really lose anything by dying you don't gain anything by reviving and cabal with shields ball with shields are nasty I think I'm just gonna move on. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, no need to fight those cabal with shields. This is a mighty convenient spawn for a public event, too. Literally right amidst everything. I wonder if I can heal allies with this, this healing circle. I think I might be able to heal allies if I remember correctly. Mining glimmer without a drill. Good work. All right. Well, that was really quick. Uh, I got a token. I got some chest armor. Um, the quest is right there for me to do. So let's take a look at what we have. Even though it loads in slowly, I have a new helmet. Uh, that's junk. Gauntlets. Right now, mine have recovery. Those have recovery. Those have recovery. Well, 
We'll just go with the highest defense rating one. 72 and 74. Resilience recovery. Resilience recovery. Alright, so all of my gear that I'm finding has the same stats on it. I'm just finding different rolls. So that's not too bad. 39 and 72. Long range, slow firing, and high damage. Versus reliable and sturdy. I'll take that weapon. A scout rifle instead of a hand cannon? I'll keep the scout rifle, but I'm going to use that for now. So, assault rifle, energy type weapon. Uh, there's another mission here. And let's see, what's this fusion rifle? Okay. Alright. Unique. Let's see if I can spend anything up here because I've almost been uh, in the fight for an hour now. Just in the first section of Earth. Be careful out there. Alright, increase reputation, exchange these items for rewards from Derv and K. And exchange these items for rewards from Derv and K. Dusklight Shard. Well, what the hell do I get with a Dusklight Shard, I might ask? Standing tall, pulse rifle. Never really liked pulse rifles. I guess I might as well exchange this Dusklight shard. It did absolutely nothing. And what about EDC reward tokens? Oh, I turned them in for this reputation bar up here. Okay. So that's what these tokens do. Reach level 20, increase your level to claim these rewards. Uh, well, can I take it at least? Oh, oh, okay. All right, this is starting to make sense. These are the separate factions that you have to go to and level them up. I've just conveniently been able to level this one up already, and I can't seem to do anything more with it because I'm not level 20, so I need to focus on getting my character to level 20. All right. Well, that makes more sense now. And I think the only thing left for me to do quest wise is the red war which will be the next thing on the list there is something over there there's a little tunnel but I don't know where or what it leads to so we'll worry about that later well, that's been basically about an hour so I'm going to go ahead and stop here for part two. I'll pick up uh, part three with the beginning of this Red War quest. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, remember to smash the like button. Definitely share the video with a friend. And of course, subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay frosty.